Hello everyone, Vanish here, and today I have a new video up for you. Please don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also, if you haven't entered the giveaway for the Swift Wingseed mount yet, I'm going to be putting the link right here, and you can watch it at the end of this video. Hello everyone, um, Carlene here, aka Vanish. And today is February 14th, 2013, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, sorry for my voice, um, I've been sick the past week and then also I'm still recovering, but I have been up for I think like 30 hours now or so. Uh, I streamed last night around 1 o'clock and then I ended the stream around 6 o'clock my time. But what I ended up doing is that uh, my friend Mo is at work still and I wanted to keep him company. So me and Kanita, um, we were on my secret Twitch. Um, well, it's actually just a, t uh, a test channel that I use. And so I used that to show him um, like random pictures from like long time ago. Um, I don't know, like, I actually went on my Zynga. If you guys don't know what a Zynga is, well, actually, props to you if you know what a Zynga website is. But, uh, yeah, so a Zynga is a website from a long time ago, Blast from the Past, definitely. And it was, like, from my high school days. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, like, a blog site that people use to blog. Um, you, you know, way before MySpace even started. I'm so glad that the website is still up because I have a lot of entries there. And what we did was uh, just go through some pictures that I still had, posted there, you know, like the, the links that are still correct. And um, just like, I don't know, like random posts. Like, for example, I would have these surveys that... You know, like, I would have answers from a long time ago, and then I was like, okay, I'll, we'll go through these, and then if my answer is different, you know, like, I'll just answer them for what it is now. So, anyway, um, I also found a couple poems that I wrote from, you know, like, around that time, around 2004, 2005, 2006, around that time, and um, one of them I will share to you at the end. I wanted to discuss about love found in in game or on wow and i just i'm interested to know which of you viewers have met your significant other through the game or through maybe like a different game but you know like in the gaming circle or in the culture of gaming share to us in the comment section below what your experience is you know about love your relationships and gaming there's this question that is often brought up in my stream about would you want a significant other that plays WoW or, you know, is a gamer or would you want, you know, a, a person that isn't a gamer? My, my opinion on that would be I think it will be pretty cool to find someone who you can share, you know, like something you love like the game with and you can have discussions about, you know, like the different things that are coming out in the game or, um, you know, just like even like an alliance versus horde thing, like a friendly battle between you and your significant other. Or it can be, you know, like having just, I guess, like sharing the same memories or experiences in raids or in BGs. I don't think it should be a requirement, though, you know, to like, okay, I'm looking for a boyfriend and I want him to be a rogue and he has to be like 2300 in arena and he has to clear all these raids and whatever um i'm not gonna be like that but i think it would be cool to find someone who understands your passion for gaming and um you know also like not be so uptight about you know the whole youtube thing that i'm doing and also streaming on twitch so as long as he's supportive about it i think that would be really cool even though my friend miguel is totally opposed to the whole thing he said it has to be a gamer, and it has to be like be someone who will get along with my friends, my current friends right now, online. And he said it can't be an outsider. But yeah, that's what he says. But it's just interesting to think that in the future, you know, like I wonder if my future loved one would be a gamer or a non-gamer. 
My advice, though, for people who are, you know, looking for love in game and, um, you know, like meeting people online, um, just be careful, you know, who you meet and make sure that the person is telling you the absolute truth about themselves and not using pictures of um, whoever on the internet, using those pictures as them or, you know, like people who are um, just like hiding I don't know, just like, I guess, insecure about themselves, so they had to lie. Because more than a year ago, someone did that to me, and it was just, yeah. But I'm going to save that topic for a different video. But like I said, just be careful who you meet online, and just keep your heart and your mind guarded enough. And if you really want to meet the person, you know, like if you, if it's like you, if you believe that there is really something there, if enough time passes and you still feel the same way for them, then go for it. Before I end this video, I want to give a big loving shout out to all the gamer couples out there. Also to my friends and their significant others, Jaded and Soldier, Curdy and Travis, Tauli and Lula, Jen and Vajera, Zemi and Rila, and Curry and Galleon. So before I forgot and start editing this video, I wanted to share one of the poems that I wrote freaking long time ago. This was written on July 6, 2004, and it goes like this. I've never met someone like you who can always give me a smile that lasts the whole day and night through. My heart skips a beat every word you speak, leaving me speechless and breathless. With happiness, my face is lit. Finding myself having thoughts of the one who forever I've sought, who can capture my feelings with the gentleness of his spirit, Sweet as the smell of hyacinth, how I long to be with this someone, with these feelings I know won't be gone. We are miles apart, but yet, distance can't stop what I'm feeling. You get my heart to sing about the wonders of loving. You have taken over the thoughts of my mind, and maybe soon my heart too will be bind. With emotions that never before I can find, in the core of my heart it's hidden. For only one person to successfully open, and if and when that one day comes, I know I won't love another again. And even though I wrote this about nine years ago, I'm dedicating this to all the lovebirds out there. Alright, enough mushy stuff. So have a wonderful Thursday. Happy Valentine's again to you guys. Make sure you like, favorite, and comment on this video, and subscribe if you haven't yet on my channel. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go get some rest and, um, well, after I post this video up. And yeah, and I'm just gonna knock out after this. So, alright, have a wonderful day again, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!